Popular Instagram page influencer updates O treated as thirsty fans to a sneaky sesh last night in which she got people to send in their wildest stories involving Aussie influencers. Unfortunately it's hella cryptic and she's blocked out the names and covered them with just a gender and state, but it's still super spicy and who knows. Maybe you guys will be able to figure it out based on our own insiders. Here's just some of the best ones but I implore you to chuck her a follow for more. One Sydney-based influencer allegedly got fired from David Jones back in the day for stealing thousands of dollars worth of clothes. Meanwhile a Gold Coast-based influencer stole someone's mate's bag at a bar and only gave it back when we got security. I wonder what kind of bag we're referring to here? I say this because according to the list of blind items, influencers do a lot of cocaine. Apparently one of the Love Island Australia blokes was seeing someone before he went on the show and the poor gal discovered he'd left her to date people on the national stage via TikTok. Another influencer was a total dick in school but presents a nice guy image now that he's an influencer while another bloke was the most hated guy in the army. Which male influencer was in the army? One spicy blind item alleged that a Gold Coast influencer did a lot of weird things to try and blow up as an influencer before Love Island. We love a clue. Apparently the reality star once sat in on a beginning boutique influencer dinner she wasn't invited to. Staff had no idea how she got there and she didn't even say thank you. Certain Sydney-based influencers allegedly slept with the late Mac Miller, Chris Brown, EU, and The Weeknd while they were on tour Down Under. I'm guessing it's three different influencers, BTW, as she hasn't indicated that it's the same person. Meanwhile a rural male influencer apparently promotes assets on his Insta like they belong to him when really they belong to his girlfriend's family. An Adelaide influencer texts and drives and honestly, all you need to do is watch their Instagram stories to figure out who because a lot of them do it for the hashtag content. Jail, and apparently twin influencers sell their free products online. That's it for now, folks. See ya next time there's a spicy series of Instagram stories exposing the most bizarre behavior of Aussie influencers.